Um, yeah, I guess. I kind of <laughs> just came in. Uh, yeah, they said they said today uh, was the day, but you never know. And then came in, just saw the number on the board, and then yeah, it's nice to be back. How exciting is it to get back and get back in there? I know you've been doing battle drills for a little bit now to yeah. actually hit somebody from another team. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it sucks being out. Um, especially when your team's kind of going to war night in and night out, so um, that's never fun. So it's just it's uh, it's real good to be back. Is there anything lingering, or are you 100 percent, or do um, anything? Or? I mean, I feel real good right now. So good spot. Um, everyone's dealing with stuff at uh, <laughs> at this time of year. So uh, yeah, good to go. Was this, could this be at least a little beneficial that the injury came at a time where you can let all the other bumps and bruises sort of heal up? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I guess so. I mean, I guess that's one way you could look at it. Um, you know, I think uh, kind of from the second it, it happened, we, were, we started grinding pretty hard to, to get back and, um, you know, hit the rehab pretty hard. So, um, you know, it wasn't a lot of fun, but, um, you know, the team here, the staff here did an unbelievable job with me and uh, put a lot of hours in. So, um, you know, it's, it's nice to kind of see your name on the board and know you're going tonight. Going back to the, uh, the injury itself, given your history with the shoulder, yeah. how scary was it coming yeah. off and being worried that it was more serious than it ultimately ended up being? Yeah, um, I think ultimately that was kind of the main uh, the main thing that was going through my head was just like shit, not again. Um, but you know that was four to six month recovery. Now I think it was it was uh, around four weeks. So um, you know it's it's real good to be back and, and not have to deal with that. Is there anything you know? Toto always talks about watching games and how you know, important it is for yeah. guys to kind of see from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that maybe you picked up? Uh, from watching games that you can bring into your game? Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, watched a lot of hockey, uh, which I guess you could say is not ideal. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, you pick up little things that you don't see when you're playing, obviously. Um, so yeah, I've been obviously watching a lot and, um, you know, the team's been grinding, been battling, been working, so hopefully we can come in and get back in the win column. The talk after the trade for you in terms of system adjustment was the, the D zone. Yeah. Is that something where you know you can pick things up from up top, or is that more something you need to do to, to really get used to the shift? I mean, I'd say a bit of both. I'd say it's definitely easier to kind of practice while doing, um, and saying that you watch um, watch a lot of hockey. So um, yeah, I mean, I think it's had more than enough time to adjust. So um, yeah, you could just go and play. You mentioned seeing your number on the board. What are those conversations like? Or maybe you feel like you're ready to go and you're pushing to get back. I can yeah. imagine that can be frustrating at times. Uh, yeah, very frustrating. Um, I mean, you never want to miss hockey. And it's no secret I've missed a lot. Um, so, um, yeah, it's just nice that the day's kind of here. And, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty big weight lifts off your shoulder, especially when you're seeing the team be in this position and grind day in and day out and um, you know you want to get back as fast as possible. When did you sort of feel it or do you still feel it at all? Is it when you're shooting? Is it in battle drills? Do you have to think about it at all? Or is that, is that the best feeling that, that you don't have to worry about taking a hit or doing something when you're gonna it's gonna happen again? Yeah I mean it's hockey. You're gonna get hit. It's gonna happen. Um, I think the quicker you get that out of your head the better so um, you know, the team here, the staff, everyone's pre prepared me, um, you know, as good as possible. So um, I've been through the ringer here, so um, yeah, just go out and play tonight. You, you're paired up with Nick Sealer. You guys play yeah. a little different style. Yeah. <laughs> um, how do you think you guys can complement each other? Yeah, um, I mean, he's, he's a heck of a player. Uh, I've never seen somebody block so many shots in my life. And, and uh, you know, I, I love the way he plays the game. So. Um, you know, I'm excited to play with him and be paired. And him and I talked uh, when he was out with his, um, his foot and whatnot. And uh, yeah, we talked, so we were laughing. And we were like, well, what if we play together? Because we hadn't played together really. So um, it was pretty funny seeing that on the board. And I'm um, excited to play with him. Does it give you like a little bit of confidence to maybe brush up the ice a little bit more because you have a guy who's a little bit more of a stay at home? Yeah, uh, no, I definitely plan on being up the ice a lot tonight. So um, yeah, yeah, can't wait to get back in the game and the legs will be going. And to get on the power play. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, that's nice. Hopefully, we can we can get that going and, and just create some momentum and opportunities, and uh, ultimately put the puck in the back of the net.